Hey, I'm Eric Lee with Starfish Coaching and Designers Business Academy. Today for my episode in my Business Tips for Designers series, I want to ask a question that's been asked of me on social media, and that is, can I be a designer without going to school? The answer is yes, you can. I actually became an interior designer without formal interior design education. I was trained in architecture, but my first job when I got out of architecture school was in the interior design field, and that's where I picked up a lot of my experience. Now, to say that you can start from scratch without any relevant training, like architecture or something else, yes, you can, but my caution here is it will take a long time to learn on your own, depending what you want to do. What I mean by that is with interior design, there's a wide spectrum. There's everything from very light, like decorating, selecting furniture, colors, and drapery, to something very heavy and technical, like interior architecture, where you're designing hotels and restaurants, lighting, the millwork, the equipment. It gets a lot more involved and a lot more technical. The other thing about choosing the self-taught route is there's two things that you have to watch out for. One is even if you've taught yourself interior design and then you're choosing to either go and work for someone or go for business yourself, if you're going to work for someone, then they're going to ask, well, what's your education? So typically that would be a hurdle for employers to cross unless you've got a lot of experience on your own. But if you have that, then you're going to be choosing to open your own business instead. So that might be a big roadblock for you to overcome. So if your ultimate path is wanting to be an interior decorator, that's going to be much easier doing the self-taught route. And that's totally possible. If you ultimately want to be doing more technical design like interior architecture, then I would highly recommend that you go get some education for it. And there's various types. There's certificates that's a few months, there's diplomas that's typically two years, and there's degrees that's four to six years. So look into those, depending on which path you want to go. Now, if you are interested in being an interior designer without going to school, then I can share with you some tips so that you know what to expect. Like I said already, it will be a longer and harder path depending where you want to be ultimately with your interior design career. The other thing is if you have no exposure at all to this industry, don't be fooled by HGTV. That is just drama TV and is made to look easy, but there's a lot more that goes behind the scenes to pulling off an interior design job. So don't be fooled by that. They make it look simple, but it really isn't. And you need a lot more learning and a lot more knowledge. So if you're someone who wants to learn interior design on your own, then I would say do a lot of research. Follow interior designers that you like. The good news now with vlogs and all that stuff is there's a lot of designers that are putting themselves out there. So you can see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. My own company, Victoria Design Group, has a lot of behind the scenes videos that you can look into. and just be a sponge, absorb as much as you can because you're ultimately teaching yourself. So do a lot of research. Google's your friend, YouTube's your friend, HGTV to a point as a final thing, but don't take too much credence to it. So just do a lot of research and self-study. That's where I would go with that. And then after that, try to get some experience designing. You need some experience under your belt to know what interior designer is like. And going through a project and there's nothing like going through a project completely to really fully immerse your learning. So the way to do that without any certification in education or any experience doing it yourself is typically to do it yourself. So either you have the capital to do a renovation or you have friends or family that is doing a renovation. I would suggest to them, hey, can I design for you? I'll do it for free. Think of it as free internship. You're cutting your teeth on it and they're giving you the exposure to try it. And afterwards, you get some photos to show us your experience to get your next customer. So that's a great way to get some experience under your belt. If you do choose to open up your business, then there are a lot of things that you can't self-teach. Like for instance, the contracts, the legality behind projects, the workflow and the schedules, all of that stuff, you're going to have to get that from somewhere. 
And I would say that even design school doesn't do a good job with teaching you the business side of interior design. They really just scratch the surface and they don't dive deep into it. But if you are interested in it, check out my Interior Design Business Accelerator program. I designed this to help interior designers start up their business successfully. What I find is that design school doesn't teach you enough about business and there's this big gap missing. So I put my 25 years experience of running my own design firm and construction firm into this program so that you get firsthand information so that you don't have to fail on your own and learn on your own. So check it out at designersbusinessacademy.net and see if it's right for you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button and pass it on to colleagues. Also drop me some comments. I'd love to have a chat about this and see what other ideas you have for being a self-taught interior designer. I'm Eric Lee. I can turbocharge your success.